Hi, my name's Susan. I'm gonna take you step by step through an art project. Let's see what Plateau Art Studio has to do today. Well, hi, today's project is a fall slash Halloween cat on a pumpkin. <laughs> this is such a cute little cat. So today I'm just gonna go over drawing skills. And uh, this is what I have traced and, and I did one that's almost done. So, because drawing should take quite a bit of time depending on um, what it is you're working on. If it's a pretty involved, it could take a long time. So anyway, so this is the one that I started last night and so I could have it partially done. And then I have a few areas I'm gonna work on to um, talk about shading and drawing and how to hold your pencil and the pressure of the pencil. So I'm gonna start with the pumpkin. So here um, I've left this so that I could kind of go over that with you. And this pencil is mahogany. And I use that to trace the lines on my pumpkin. So I want you to start with your pumpkin and choose a color. Um, of course, I chose an orange pumpkin. They make, uh, they have green pumpkins now that grow and different colors. So choose what color you want your pumpkin to be and your cat, and we'll start with tracing. So all I want you to do is start with the pumpkin first, and I'm gonna go over this line with my mahogany, and I might do that twice because I want a nice, rich color. And it's just creating what is called contrast. So if I did the whole thing orange, it'd be all right, but I do want different colors in there of my orange and yellows um, to create kind of a, a depth in, in, in the little creases of the pumpkin. So now I'm just gonna use my yellow orange. And if you just have orange, that's fine. When you are drawing, um, you should use kind of a medium light pressure. And when I draw, I'm actually going in an oval. I don't go just back and forth. I kind of use this circular motion and I'm not using the very tip. If I do that, I'll get lines. And so if you want a smooth look to your drawing, you just use a little area. And this is what takes a lot of patience to just sit and enjoy drawing. So I'm gonna draw right up to the edge of my little line there. And I'll do the other side. And as I do this, if you'll notice, I'm not pressing real hard. If I did, my hand would get so tired. And the other thing that can happen too is if you're drawing like this and or scribbling, you'll get a lot of lines. So just remember to hold your pencil properly. It lays on that knuckle and your finger and thumb hold your pencil. And don't do this. <laughs> There's probably all different levels of people out there that can draw well. Or if you're just starting out and you're really young, I'm just gonna start with the basics. All right, so now I've got a layer on there and I'm gonna go over it again. You're probably thinking, well, why didn't I just press harder? <laughs> because I get scribble lines and I don't want scribble lines. I just want a nice coverage. So if I go over again, it'll just darken a little bit more. Get that edge. I'm almost drawing with the side of my pencil of the colored part instead of like this. I almost, when I'm doing a large area, I color with the side. It covers more and it's softer. What I mean by softer is it just looks looks softer, so I don't get a bunch of. Okay, so now I'm going to use a 
darker color, which this one is red orange. Kind of go over it again, really lightly. Give it a little more depth, which means a richer color. And then we're going to use what other color? What other color can you see in my pumpkin here? Can you see another color in there? I actually used three colors. Well, four, because I used mahogany in the line. I used a yellow orange. Now I'm using a red orange to darken it even more. And what else did I use? Can you see another color in there? I used, let's see, this one is orchid. orchid. So that's, orchid is um, kind of a lazy yellow. So I'm going to do the same thing, color lightly. And if you want to get as dark as this, as rich as this, I just go over it a few times. And then I get a couple layers and it just gets darker and darker and a richer color. That's my yellow orange. Here's my orange orange. Here's my orange. Okay, so to get this little shading on both sides here, I trace that line and then you'll notice I went back and I did press a little harder to get some what we call shading in there. Okay. All right. So you can pause any time. Pause the video um, because I wanted you to trace the pumpkin first and then you can start working on the pumpkin and drawing, the, drawing in on the pumpkin. So I'm going to move on to the cat, but you pause the video until you are caught up with the pumpkin and then revisit me <clears throat> when you're ready for the cat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the cat now. So now you've got that shading there in the depth of the pumpkin. Now the cat, so if we do this side, <laughs> I want you to take your whatever color you want your cat. So if you're going to do the oranges, because I I like this combination, um, I want you to trace your cat. So just like you did your pumpkin, now you're going to trace over the, all the lines. And I here, let's see, I didn't do this one here. And you can press a little harder, but be careful not too hard or you'll break the tip of your pencil. Go ahead, move your project around. Okay, let's see. So you're just going to go trace the whole thing. I think I've got the rest of him done. Okay, so trace all the lines, everything about your cat. A little Halloween cat. <laughs> so cute. All right, so now I'm going to, all the colors I have on here are one color. It just depends on how much I colored. If I did one layer, or if I go over it a few times, uh, it'll start to darken. And my hand won't get as tired. Okay, so you just kind of keep going once you get to the cap. Now these areas in here are would be shadowed. So I pressed a little harder like when I was tracing and I colored that in. And I did the same thing with his little, little arms. I colored the sides of his arms. Here I'll do, I'll do this side. I'm just going to color the side. It should make his little arms look kind of round. Okay. Now if you're a little older and you have some lots of practice with your pencils and you have colored everything in, 
Um, this should take you quite a while. This is actually a pretty big project. You can also add, maybe you want spots on your, your cat or you want a striped tail. I decided I like the little tiger stripes, so I filled those in too. Um, maybe your cat is black and he has a white center. You know, you decide the colors there. So now, using that orange, uh, let's finish over here. Take your time, pause at any time so that you get caught up. This should take quite a while to do. So I want you to do a nice job. Please don't scribble. Really practice your coloring skills. It takes a long time to get good at it. So I've, I've been coloring for years and years and years. So I've been doing art for a very long time. So now this side here, all I did was I pressed a little harder. I'll do it over on this side so you can see. Let's see, so it would be coming this way. I'll color it in. So I just pressed a little harder is all I did in there to create shading. You don't have to do that. You do whatever you're capable of doing. Maybe you're just starting out and you just want to color them in, which is just perfect. That's fine. Everybody has a different ability you know, on their level of coloring and their skills. So if you're just starting out, make it simple for yourself and just color them in easy. Don't have to add all that extra shading. Just practice coloring nicely if you're just starting out. That's always best. Okay, so now again, pause if you need a lot of time to finish because this could take you it could if you're just sitting and doing a really nice job. It could take you a good hour and a half to color this little guy in. So I used, did use a little yellow here. I used a, um, what did I use? I used peach to color in around his mouth. And I used some yellow around his mouth. And then I used some um, cherry red for his cute little tongue or you can use pink. And then I colored in his, his eyes here. And um, let's do kind of a light tail. So we'll get this going here. And then I don't know if you noticed the background, but I did use three different colors in the background to kind of experiment with the, the sky in the stars. So there's my peach and again I can color. You can color it all one color or if I want to shade and add my details I can do that. Yeah I worked on this quite a while last night. It's kind of a bigger project than I anticipated for you, but you'll get it. Just take your time. Now, I'm not going to take all the time right now to finish coloring every little thing, but just remember to not press too hard. Just a nice smooth coloring. If you want it a little darker, get a darker pencil or just go over it a couple times and it'll be darker. All right, so I'm going to show you how I did the tiger stripes. And I just came in like this, made two curved lines that met. I made another line, like a little curved line, and then came down and that one met. 
So that's how I made the little tiger stripes. Whoops. <laughs> This one in. You can press a little harder for this kind of thing. There, and then I can finish the rest of those. And then the stars, the same thing. I found a really nice bright yellow. Yellow. It just says yellow. <laughs> and I just colored my stars in. So now with the stars, I'm pressing a little bit harder, but not too much. Okay, and now I want to show you too <clears throat> the sky. This takes a while if you want a really nice background without scribbling and getting lines. You kind of hold your pencil down and you're doing the same thing and just gradually going over the areas. Now, I used a medium blue and I used <clears throat> a dark blue up here to see what that would be like. And then I switched over to violet. You can try purple, violet. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat. It's allergy season. So here I'm just coloring gently and then I can go back over this way and this is how I build up color. <clears throat> so here's a good spot that you can see on a large area. Instead of doing this, because you'll get a lot of scribble, so this is how we would go back and forth over an area to get it darker. Okay, <clears throat> so there. Don't forget to go over his cute little whiskers. Make him really stand out and you color in his eye and trace the eye so his eye really pops out. You might have a couple little cute hairs coming out of his ears. And you trace those whiskers. There. So there's some tips on coloring skills on how to and to get one color darker. I get all these shades of orange out of one color. Just if I go over it a few times, it gets darker. If I press a little bit harder, um, just be careful not to break the tip of your pencil. And then I wanted his toes to stand out, so I did those in kind of the same color as the mouth area. I did peach and yellow because I wanted them to kind of stand out against the pumpkin and his body. So there, so that's our drawing project. And that's a few skills on drawing. So please take your time, enjoy the process, and have fun with it. So um, just do what you can do and don't try to do too much other things if you're not quite ready for that. So just concentrate on the simple skills and do a nice job. And I hope you enjoy this project and stay safe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me. Tune into Plateau Art Studio to see what great projects we have next time. See you next week. Bye-bye.